everybody. Guess who's back? I'm back, but guess who else I have with me? Andrew's back. Where in the hell has he been? Andrew, what's going on? I'm keeping busy, man. Keep busy helping our students. Just uh, everything's great, man. Great. Well, you know, Andrew, you know, we've been doing this for a long time and people have been asking us, where's Andrew? You do it with Damon Kelly. You've been talking about the basics of IP and I come on and of course I'm doing my thing. And But people are asking, hey, we miss Andrew and Stephen doing them together. So guess what, everybody? We're here. We're back. We're, back. we're going to do these together. I'm going to go crazy. Andrew's going to try to calm me down a little bit. We'll, we'll see. That's, you... our, that's our formula, man. That's what we've always done. So <laughs> that exactly. So this is what we're going to do today. Because Andrew and I were talking about our successful students. And everybody knows, of course, we coach people, how to license their ideas. And we have a lot of deals. Andrew, how many deals do we have? Well, our, our head negotiation coach, David Fidoa, he's in about, on average, about 45 deals a month where we have students in active negotiations, 45 deals a month. So he keeps pretty busy. Yeah. So Andrew, real quick, and why, why so many? People are probably asking, why are we so successful and other people aren't? Real quick. Here's our, here's our plug, guys. We're well, selling, we're, here's we're, the commercial right here. Go. I mean, I mean, basically what we do is we help people make sure they're doing and saying everything right to get up to that deal. So you gotta make sure your sell sheet's right, your list of companies, you're working on the right projects. You know, you're not getting obsessed about prototypes. You're doing and saying everything right. And that'll okay. dramatically increase your chances of getting a deal on the table. And then for our students, your coach will hand you off to our advanced negotiation coach, David Fidoa, and he guides you through okay. the negotiations. Okay. Okay. So, of okay. course, people are in all different levels, as you know, Stephen, okay. with okay. negotiations. Uh, enough of the sales pitch. Okay. <laughs> here, we go. here we go, you guys. But you know what else I was talking to Andrew about? So we have a lot of students that are successful. We have students all over the world, but we also have students that want to do these crazy TV shows and contests. Yeah. And, and you know, we're not wild about them. No, we, 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 we like our students to go directly to, to companies and license their ideas, but we've had a fair amount of success, haven't we? Well, I just wanted to share with, some, with, with everybody what we also do is coach people through these types of contests and TV shows, which, like I said, we're not wild about, but they still do it anyway. But anyway, just recently, there's this great challenge. It's called Make 48. Great guys from Kansas City. Uh, and it's this challenge. You have 48, 48 hours to come up with a great idea. They give you a challenge on Friday night, and on Sunday, you come up with some, some great solution to their challenge, and you win. And guess what? Our students have won. Yep. That's right. And, and James, I want you to put up, I'm going to move my head, put a picture of, 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 of one of the winners here that have won. And I believe you'll see a picture of uh, also our student, but of uh, oh, Squatty Potty, the creative Squatty, Judy Edwards, she's there too. So, but Andrew, there's some other contests too, and I've got a list here of all. There's so many. I've got a list. Well, well you know, people are always asking us about Shark Tank, Stephen. So what's what's up with that? Are you telling me that we've helped people with Shark Tank as well? Yeah, we do. You know, I'm not wild about Shark Tank. I think it's a great thing. I think it's a TV show, but also we help people win at Shark Tank. And sure enough, a couple of friends of ours they needed some coaching. Ray and Alvin went on Shark Tank, have a great little product, and they got offered a million dollars. I couldn't believe it, Andrew. What was really crazy about it, they have a great little product, but they turned down a million dollars because they wanted to do it themselves. And of course, now they got a Disney license and they sell all over the place and they're doing great. So congratulations well, who, to those guys. Who else guys. have we helped, Stephen? There's one really recent one with a brand new show. A brand new show called The Toy Box. There it is up on the screen. Ryan Stewart, our, our, our student, InventRight student, wins the show first season with a great product. He, I think he called it 3D liquid art. They renamed it, um, I think, what did they rename it? Um, art Splash, I think, art or something Splash, like that. Art Splash, yeah, I think that's what it's called, yeah. You know, yeah. it's... it's when, sold it to Mattel, I, you know, Yeah, the show. you know, he won the show. When I first saw it, uh, I fell out of my chair, Andrew. When I first saw really it, I, cool. knew, really I cool. knew how cool it was gonna be, and sure enough, uh, you know, the show's a little wacky. You got these kids that are judges, and I think they do a pretty good job. <laughs> and, and some of the ideas there are okay, but his idea is spectacular, 
And Ryan, congratulations for winning the first season, ABC, The Toy Box. But also there's even, there's even more, you guys. Um, one of our students, Jer um, Jared, Jared Joyce, love this guy, creative guy out of, out of Montana. He's out there in, um, Bozeman. which one? Yeah, it's Bozeman, yeah, which, yeah. I don't know if you've ever been to Bozeman, it's beautiful. But anyway, he's one of those really creative guys and, and there is this creative inventing organization called Qu Quirky. And sure enough, uh, he was, you know, they had a challenge. He came up with a great idea and sure enough, it got picked and it's in all the Bed Bath and Beyonds and who knows elsewhere and um, a great little product. In fact, James, you can show Jared up here in this product too. And they so, went out of business, but they're back. So, you know, things go in and out all the time, but we coach people through all these types of uh, TV shows, challenges, it doesn't really matter because our process is pretty solid. But also, mm -hmm. Andrew, there's one other thing too that we help people. Um, there's a category called As Seen on TV, um, which is really the wild, wild west. Um, but if you get picked, submit it correctly um, with the right materials, and it does get picked and it goes on TV, guess what? You can have a big hit on your hands, right? Mm -hmm. Huge. And so who do we know that's licensed to uh, As Seen on TV? Well, to, we have one of our students, Scott, he's done it, I don't know how many times now. He, he did gr Grip Go, which mm -hmm. is fantastic. And you can see it here. This thing sold bazillions and then went back, went off the air and then came back again. Uh, did a great job. But also um, our student, uh, Brian Diaz. And he had the Wolf Washer 360, mm -hmm. which is this crazy pet cleaning system to, to wash your dog. You can even watch a Great Dane. I cannot believe I saw that. But sure enough, puts it up on Facebook. It's 100 million views. Licenses this, licenses the, his product to the largest DRTV company on the planet. And you can see it here. All right, James, there you go. And guess what? It's on every shelf from PetSmart to Walmart to you name it. And, and, um, and guess what? We we're so impressed with Ryan. We asked him to be a coach. And now he's one of our InventRight coaches. So That's right. I think that our students, Steve and I, I don't know why they're successful with these trade shows, I think with these tra trade shows, with these contests. I think they're just on another level and they're very prolific. So definitely our students don't join and just do contests, but they're actively licensing their products and to directly to companies. And they're like, well, I don't know, maybe I'll do this contest. And because I think that all our students are really lined up to do everything right, that's why they're winning these contests when other inventors aren't. What do you yeah, think? Andrea, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. When they do these contests or challenges, they, they're ready. Their pitch is spot on. They know the one-line benefit statement. They can work the camera. Their prototypes, their sell sheets, their videos look fantastic. They've been coached. And that's yeah. why these guys do a great job. Anyway, I wanted to kind of say, um, hey, Andrew, glad you're back. Hey, hey I've, I've been here the whole time. And anyway, <laughs> Just haven't been doing as many videos. So, <laughs> All right. You guys, thanks for watching. We've got another video coming up that you're going to absolutely love. Once again, this is Stephen Key and Andrew Krauss. Andrew, you want to end it? Yeah, take care, everyone. Keep inventing. See ya. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.